Hi there. I am Ahmad. And today, we're going to take a look at the Rhino interface. When you first open Rhino, you'll see a screen with several panels and toolbars. Let's take a look at each of these panels in more detail. 1. The drop-down menu in Rhino, provides a list of selectable options for various functions and settings within the program. 2. The command line in Rhino, serves as an input and output interface for executing commands and displaying feedback. 3 and 4. The top and side toolbar in Rhino, Provide quick access to frequently used tools and commands for modeling, editing, and navigating 3D geometry. 5. Viewports in Rhino Provide multiple simultaneous views of the 3D model from different angles and perspectives. 6. The Properties panel Allows users to view and modify the properties of selected objects, such as their material, color and display. 7. The function of OSNAP and status bar in Rhino is to change the unit settings and to provide snap options for accurate and precise object placement and manipulation. 8. Press double-click to expand the view. 9. To change the unit settings, press right-click. 10. Click Grid Snap. Click Ortho. Click OSNAP and check END. Check NEAR. Check POINT. Check mid. Check center. Check intersection. Check perpendicular. Click Gumball. Move towards Z, X, Y. Rotate. Scale in different directions. Go to File, and press Save to save the file. Rename, press Save button. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, next week we are going to talk about the most used command in Rhino, so hit the subscribe button, hit the notification button and I will see you next week.